Welcome back everyone. As per request, we will be doing um, a vast one again, but this time it's going up against the paid version um, or paid um, competitor and that's Norton 360. So we've got a vast on the left. And let's just quickly open them up. Okay, so for a vast, uh, we'll just quickly have a look at the settings. Okay, so it's set on fixed automatically, potential stuff as well. On the red bonds, we pretty much selected everything. Um, exceptions is our two scripts for the malicious website and for the malware execution. For web shield, uh, pretty much everything is selected. Ransomware protection, these are the 10 folders. Under advanced, set to smart mode. Firewall. Um, network inspector. And that's about it. The other modules are um, for uh, paid versions, the ones with the little locks. Okay, and then um, we are on the latest version. This is the latest bolt. Now for Norton, let's quickly have a look here at the settings. Uh, let's start from the top. Okay, so antivirus, uh, normal mode, um, and everything here is enabled as well. So sonar notifications are enabled. Okay. Uh, and the heuristic is set to aggressive. Okay, data protector, script control. Okay, so for firewall, I'm pretty much left it on default. Okay, intrusion and browser protection. Exploit prevention, everything is enabled. Okay, we'll close that. Okay, on the advance, and you can see everything here is enabled. Okay, so nice, quick, and easy. Gonna disable the protection um, for them so I can uh, um, extract the malware and then we'll start the test. Okay, now that all our malware has been extracted, so we have quite a bit of a high number today, 2,747 for them both. Um, I think it's time to update these uh, products. Okay, so they're almost up to date. I'm going to start enabling the protection. Okay, so Avast is up to date. Norton should be up to date almost. Okay, Norton is also up to date. Okay, so they're both up to date and happy. Um, we'll close Norton. Okay, so Vast is also happy, so I'm going to start with the website test. Um, I did update the URL links, so these are one of the latest links. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. So as you guys can see, all Norton's um, add-ons are enabled. Safe search, etc. Everything is enabled. Okay, so Vast is giving us a couple of pop-ups, Norton is giving us pop-ups. Okay, so I think Avast is done. Okay, looks like none of them opened up. Uh, seems like this one is the only one that's still trying to load. Let's look at Norton. Okay, so it seems like one was missed.
Okay, so it seems like it's this one. So Norton missed that one. Uh, it does say caution. Okay, but a lot of users might not see that. This one, okay, dangerous. That one is still loading, blocked. Okay, okay, so it seems like the best is done. Let's look at downloads. Okay, so it seems like we do have a couple of files that downloaded here. Okay, so I would say Vast did better in this test than Norton. Um, we do have these four files. I'm going to leave them there to see during the full scan if Norton is able to pick them up. And there was about two websites that also opened on Norton. So Vast is the clear winner. Okay, now I think it's time for the malware execution. Okay, let's start with Norton. Okay, so Norton is already processing threads. Let's see about the best. Okay, best hasn't given us any pop-ups yet. Okay, um, I'm gonna attend to this malware, guys. Um, best should pop up a notification sooner or later. Um, once they're done, we'll look at the results and then we'll take it from there. Okay guys, um, I just want to point out that there is something wrong with the vast machine. Um, as you guys can see, there's quite a lot of malware that's still running um, underneath the script. We have this petroleum, yeah, Kimon. There is a couple of things running here. Um, and obviously we've got high CPU usage via the script and whatever is running under it. Um, also the Explorer is not um, responding. Um, I've tried to launch Explorer a couple of times. Um, Explorer is not showing so I can't restart it. Um, so there is definitely something wrong here. I'm going to restart it again. Hopefully we're lucky. But yeah, I think there is something wrong here. Um, the malware is not executing anymore. It's stuck on this number. Um, there is PowerShell open, but nothing's happening so far. Norton is running smoothly so far. I've not seen any problems with Norton. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to force reboot this machine and then continue the malware tests. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay guys, so all the malware execution is complete. It's time to look at the results um, for a vest. Um, let's quickly see what's running. Uh, we keep getting this. Okay. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything running. Uh, let's look at our files. Yeah, so it seems like we are good. Just wanna open up one of them. Just think the thumbnails aren't loading. Oh 
Okay, that's fine. We'll look at it again after the machine started up. Okay, for um, Norton, it's a completely different story. We unfortunately do have ransomware infection. Um, seems like two um, ransomware's got hold of the machine, but um, as far as what I could see, they are undetermined. Um, I loaded the submit um, that and the readme files, and they are not able to determine what they are. So I've already applied all the actions. Um, we do have a couple of stuff running here. This seems fairly new. Let's just quickly look at the results. Okay, that's that. Okay, while we wait for the results, let's look at our damage. Damage files. Okay, so these are so this is the one with this um, long extension um, that seems to have got hold of the pictures the documents as well and downloads as well I know these downloads were skipped so it's only that one doesn't see and, the, and, and on the um, malware extraction folder this is the other malware um, so far I can only find one with this extension so it's the IXA. Um, okay, so it seems like ESET, McCarthy, Icarus, um, these guys are aware of this malware. Um, and this one, it seems to be the same. Let's close that. Okay, so EZ wants to restart, uh, sorry, EZ, <laughs> Norton wants to restart to remove the malware, so I'm going to do that now. Um, once they both restart it, we'll start with the full scans and then look at the results. Okay, so the full scans are completed and I did click on the resolve issue, so it seems like Norton has resolved all the issues that it could find. For vast one, 35 um, threads could not be removed. Um, okay, so let's quickly see what's still in the startup items. Okay, so for a vast, we obviously got one, two, three programs that are startup items. For Norton, we have one, um, two, and our label PowerShell S3, because um, that will contribute to the persistentness of fileless malware. Um, so we'll just close that, we'll just finish that. So for um, Norton, we still have 324 files left, but a lot of them are encrypted as well, as you guys can see. So that might contribute Norton not seeing them or able to detect them. And for Avast, we've got 308 um, samples still left. Okay, um, I'm going to restart these machines so that we can jump into the third party opinion scans and then um, we'll look at the results and then finalize this test. Okay guys, I just need to point out that during the third party opinion scanners, both these machines are restarting. So I'm not sure why, if it's malware or remote access. That's causing that, but I just want to point out that they are restarting. I'll continue the third party scans again once they're back up and running. Okay, guys, um, I think this test is done and dusted. Norton um, can't start up anymore. Avast um, is diagnosing, and as you can see, Norton did do a shutdown, it started again. So clearly these two are badly broken due to the malware. Um, we'll see if Avast is able to start up. But by the looks of it, Norton is done and dusted. Avast as well. Um, I'm not going to troubleshoot this. So yeah, I would say this is the end of this test guys. I unfortunately thought Avast did really well um, against uh, Norton. 
as Norton obviously had ransomware infection mm -hmm. and a couple of things like that. So um, Avast did do better in the initial start um, as there was no ransomware infection. Uh, it did clean a lot of malware um, and things like that. But clearly there's something wrong with the operating system. And yeah, so unfortunately a lot of negatives for them both. Um, obviously Norton did do worse as it had ransomware infection. But now they both are unable to start up. So um, not doing so well on this test. And yeah, so let me know what you guys thought about this test. Um, let me know some other recommendations and we'll jump into it. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this test and I hope it was informative. And I'll see you guys in the next test.